and it has continued to wash and I mean it washes bad I've got to get some turnouts put in here turn this off of the field so it stops washing down the edge All right, uh, today is June 27th. We planted on June the 12th. We did not get any rain for a while, but it appears that we got rain uh, either yesterday or day before, and it's supposed to start raining again Tuesday through the rest of the week. But anyway, here's the field, all nice and flat, and you'll notice that there is some crabgrass coming up. Like I'll zoom in on this little piece right here. That one's actually out of the ground. I pulled it up, but I do have some crabgrass that is still coming up in spots. It's not all over the whole field. Here's some right here that's coming up. But the thing that I like the most are these rows and I'm hoping you can see these. That's from where we drug the culti packer through here and all of that is millet that is coming up. And the whole field is covered in millet. And when I'm walking around, I'll see if this will focus. Um, right like here, you can just see millet popping up everywhere I'll back out a little bit but this uh this field is covered in millet we really got the coverage down and it's all coming up pretty good right now so i imagine in a couple more weeks it'll really be showing good hopefully it'll mature before opening day i think it will uh, we still got to get a little ways to go yet. All of July and all of August. So that's uh, at least 60 days right there. Uh, that's it. This is the uh, 2022 dub field with our first little bit of emergent coming out. And again, this is five acres that we plant in Marion County, Georgia. So here's the dove field. It's coming on good. We've got plenty of rain. Actually, we got too much rain because if you look over here, you can see where we had a sure enough gully washer. In fact, I'll show that to you in a minute. But in general, This brown top millet is coming on real good. Other than where we had things such as that, where the field washed, According to my neighbor that lives just a couple of hundred yards from here, he told me that they got two inches of rain in about 10 minutes. That's a lot of rain in a short period of time. Here's an example of a wash. This is all the way down to the hard pan. Uh, and this is right in the middle of the field. This is just where the water ran and it washed all the soil and the millet that I was growing out. It just came from right on up there, but it came through 
and it goes down. And you can see where some of the soil washed over here as well. But this right here washed all this out. Washed down there and you can see that beachfront property down there to where it all settled. And then the worst part is right on the field edge. A couple of years ago, my neighbor plowed this up as a fire break. We didn't actually need this fire break, but that's okay. Uh, and it has continued to wash. And I mean, it washes bad. I've got to get some turnouts put in here, turn this off of the field so it stops washing down the edge. And then there's this one up here. And all that's coming off of that small rise right there. But this is the dove field. It's coming along nicely. This is right at four weeks after germination. And then down here on this lower end, it's where a lot of this sand washed in and settled in on the uh, on the millet that's growing. So here's one of those big sandy areas with nothing. That's just barren. That's all right. It's not that big of a deal because 90, 90 to 95 percent of the field is covered in millet and it's looking real good. <laughs> 